really glad you joined me today, which is going to be a workout, a weighted based workout and a body weight based workout. So we're going to today, we're going to do descending weights. I'm going to go from my higher weight to my lower weight to my body weight. And that's going to be five minutes. I'm going to perform that twice. So it's 10 minutes in each circuit. I'm choosing fours and three. So again, thinking that heavier weight and then the, maybe the medium weight to do the second exercise and then your own body weight to do the last one. Of course, it's all going to be about core as well. You'll need a mat because we're going to get getting on the floor and you'll need a bottle of water, take water whenever you want to and we'll get ready with that warm up. So grab your weights, bring them on down and we'll get ready. Okay, are we ready to go now? In four, three, two, one. I'm going to come up and I'm going to do that nice big circle, open it out. Opening out the ankles, feeling it on my calves as well as I get that lift. Body weight coming off. Okay, out. Lovely, good. So again, this time I'm just pointing the toe and bringing those arms back in. Lovely, good. Feel that little squeeze on the pegs as you get those arms across you at the front. Okay, this time, again, up on my toes. But I'm bringing my arms in the other way. There's that little helicopter arms there. Good, I'm going to stand on one leg and just get that rolling around with the arms. And then I'm going to come forward and back. And then again, forward. I'm going to do that two more times. And one more. Okay, before I go to the other side, I'm going to do a step touch here, grabbing that air, pulling it back, nice and strong. Now I'm going to come over the top, over the top. Lovely, good. And now bring that across. Shoulders back and down, but you get the twist. Okay, lovely. Both arms. And I get a little squeeze behind on one side, using those lats. And well done. On the other side here, I'm doing that roll. Lovely, good. I'm going to come forward on one leg, coming up. I'm going to do that two more times. So feel you get that drop from the hips, coming up, and then one more. Lovely, coming back to the front here, I'm going to do a leg curl. So step out, leg curl. Now strong arms, bring them across the front, get that pec workout, feel it on the chest but definitely on the backs of the legs. Okay, nice and wide here. I'm coming down each side. Lovely, good, pushing those hips back. Okay, bring it into a plie for me. Give me that little plie drop. Lovely, good. So my bottom's in close this time. My core is pulled in. Feeling that work up through the insides of my heels, up into my inner thighs there. Lovely, good. Change my feet again. And this time I'm reaching down as well. Just get that little twist. Lovely, bringing it in. Little jog out, jog in. Good, got eight more, eight. Four more. Two. And one, and lovely, good, and just shake it off. Okay, on my first one, I'm picking up my heavier weights first. It is gonna be a swing, but I'm gonna to have to control the swing each time through my core and through my glutes. It's gonna get me up out of that squat but with a long arm swing. Then I'm going to do a long arm, out and down with my two arms. Here, out and down. Lovely, good. Bring it all the way down and up. So again, we've got that nice big movement on there. And then I'm going to do a body weight one, which I will count as we go. Okay, so on my first one. Grab your heavier weights for me, please. Bring them in. And again, they're going to swing past the outsides of your knees. So, knees are together there and drop and up. Good, so it is a swing, but it's a controlled swing through my core. 
Lovely, good. So again, I am just with my feet underneath my hips. My knees do not travel forward on my squat. All the usual things. Good. Into single figures now. second minute on that. Quite aerobic, using my arms and legs at the same time. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Give me that swing. Go work in that. Get me that swing. seconds left now. It is a swing but I'm controlling it through my core. I'm getting into that squat with that nice straight back each time. Last few seconds now. Keep it strong. Three, two, one and good work. Well done. I'm on to my set of three so that's slightly lighter weight. Okay, so I'm in a lunge position, drop down, come up, drop back down again. So again, notice it's on one leg all the way through. And again, don't rush it, get it back down to that leg each time and come up, rib cage low. My palms are facing forward. If you feel you want to face them there, they can, they come all the way up, all the way down. Up to you with that hand position and the arms are long. Good work. Lots of arm work on this first one. My arms are going to do exactly the same thing. That next one, and remember, you have got that drop through the back leg. Three, two, one. Good work. Changing it over. I'm bringing it back. I'm sinking through that lunge. My shoulders over my hips. Here we go. Drop and up. Good. So your arms getting that second go. Really feel strong as you get up there. Again, so it's not as such a throw this time as a lift. Good. From the side, this is what it looks like. I'm down here. Up and then back down again. Those weights coming down either side of my thigh. Keep it strong. 15 to go. Last few seconds now. Three, two, one. Lovely. I've got my body weight one. I'm coming from pike to plank. Okay, so I started my pike. I drop into my plank and then back. Good work. Pushing your weight back and then back down to that plank. Nice and slow. Doesn't have to be too fast here. Working that upper half. Good, well done. That down to that core. Good. Last few seconds now. Three, two, one. And good work. Well done. Are we ready for that swing again? I'm going to go with my heavier weights. Remember, it is two minutes of work. Okay, here we go. Swing it back, swing it forward. Good, so it is a swing, but it's a controlled swing. I've got my zip and hollow on. Good, give me that 
really nice swing all the way through. Core really working for me here. Rib cage stays down and in as those arms swing forward. My belly button's pulled in. My glutes get me to the top with that little squeeze at the top. That's it, good. Don't forget that squeeze. Three, two, one. Oh, well done. So it's quite aerobic. Okay. Here we go. Three, two, one. Second time, but also the last time we do this one in this circuit. Good, really keep that core pulled in. shoulder work all the way up to the top. Lovely, good. And sinking back down into your lunge. Keeping it strong. So again, don't rush it. Get that lift and back down. Good work. Drop and lift. Getting low on that back leg as well. 10 seconds left now. Three, two, one, and good work. I'm changing over legs into that lunge position, so I'm getting that leg way back. Okay, here we go. Down, coming out and up. Lovely, good. So again, drop right through the middle like I'm doing here, right through the middle, and then get that lift. Belly button pulled in, my slip and hollow on. Good, out and up. Just get those weights to touch at the top. Here we go, 20 seconds left now. Using those legs, using that core, using those arms now, good work. Here we go, 10 seconds left. Those shoulders working strong for me, three, Two, one, and good work, well done. And then your pike into plank. So again, still using those shoulders. Here we go, pike into plank. Now I'm getting on the floor. I'm 
I'm only doing one minute because the next time round I'll change legs. Okay, are we ready? I'm picking up my fours. Here we go. They're on my chest, but my shoulder blades are back and down. Okay, so I've pulled into that strong position. One, two, three. Come up, over your head, pull it back down. So as it goes over your head, remember that you are squeezing on the glutes and your rib cage down and in. So feel really strong through the body before you get that lift over your head and pull it back down and in. Squeeze, come up, pull back down and over. Up, really squeeze those glutes. Good, keep that sip and hollow on. Pick that those rib cage coming down towards the waist as the arms go over the head. Lovely, good, I'm just isolating those arms each time. Three, two, one, and good work, well done. I'm just getting ready to go with that one again. Always with my shoulder blades, pull back down and in. So work that top half. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Nice straight back in those little bounces at the bottom. And then up over your head. That's it, good. Really sit back on your heels. We've got 15 seconds left now of our second one. Then we're doing that kettlebell swing. It's like a kettlebell swing, but I'm doing it with two separate weights, which works my core even more. Three, two, one, and well done. Coming down into those slightly lighter weights, but still challenging weight. It's all about the kettlebell swing, getting those Glutes to get you back up to the top. Okay, here we go. Kettlebell swing and pull back. So again, this is the swing up, but then I have to take control of it to come back. Good, so glutes get me to the top here. Squeeze. Lovely, good. Up and squeeze. And then the squeeze back is slow, even though the up is quite fast. Do you remember the kettlebell? Swing, it is a swing up. Using my arms and my legs. Lovely, good. So that aerobic element does come into it. Three, two, one. I'm going to stay here on my wide stance. Get the second lot done. Okay, shoulder blades back and down. Core definitely pulled in. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. There. And pull back. Single figures, keep it strong, push up and back. Three, two, one, good work, well done. We're now on the floor and I'm going to do a one legged bridge. Remember which leg you did on the second time round, it's going to be the other leg. Okay, so if you want that little extra work, hands just over your chest. If you feel you need them on the floor, you can, but think about them with them palms up, so you're not tempted to help yourself by pushing up. Keep those arms rested. You need them for the next round. Okay, give me that lift. Give me that squeeze. Good, so again, keep on getting right to the top. My foot is underneath my knee there. My hamstring and my glute has to work, but my core here as well so I don't dip down on the side where I've not got that leg support. Push through, nice and strong. Three, two, 
One, lovely, good. We are up. We are on with that three drop squat. And then the arms over the head, isolating that rib cage. Core pulled in. Here we go. Three, two, one. We're on. Over the head. Pull it back down and in. Lovely, good. So really make sure that your rib cage stays down and in as those arms come over your head.
and good work. Well done. Lovely. I am moving on to my next circuit. Okay, it's going to be down on the floor, as promised. Down on the floor. I've got my one weight. I'm going to get my heavier weight, my four. It's going over my head. And it's going to be a single leg drop through. And as I come back up, single leg drop through with my weight there. Long legs. If you need to do them, short legs. But if you can, long leg. So again, long leg. And then it comes up. And then it goes down. And then it comes up. And I go with one leg all the way through before I then pick the other leg. Okay, lovely. Okay, get me that heavier weight, please. Get ready to go. So, choose the leg, choose whether it's a long leg or a short leg. The other one, if you want to, keep it there. So you can do all variations of it. Lovely, good. As that's going down and over, that's where my core is really keeping control. If you feel that you can only do a short leg, that is also fine to get used to it. I don't open it up at the knee, I just open it up at the hip. But if you can cope with a long leg, the other one's keeping me anchored here. You can if you want to, leave that up as well. Whatever feels the better one for you. I'm just going to change legs. After that, last few now seconds. Three, two, one. And here, just put that weight on your knees. So it gives your hip flexors a little bit of a rest, but also your arms as well. Okay, get ready to go. So again, you can pick one long leg, one shorter leg. The long leg goes down and up. Rib cage down and in, belly button pulled in. Good, so that's stabilization. minute all the way through 
for 48 seconds, should I say? To be exact, 48 seconds, we're doing a 48, 12. I'm getting up, I'm getting across, but I'm not letting that elbow come across my face. Good work, well done. Are we back? Ready for our next one? The second part of the circuits, remember, can be little drops with one leg, or I go long drop with one leg, and I can have the other leg as tabletop if you want to. Lovely, good. So I'm long, I'm going over my head. It's just a little bit of a bend at my elbow. Just getting that weight near the floor each time. And if you can, that heel near the floor. If you feel you can't, but you want to stay with a straight leg, just go halfway down and then come up. Or whatever you feel you can keep control of. But remember, I'm thinking about my back the whole time. Against the floor, it's not feeling a drag. Lovely, good. Three two, one, and good work. That little rest in between. And now I go again on the other leg. Three, two, one. straight if you can. That zip and hollow, really important to me now. That belly button pulled in the whole time. Good work, well done. I'm staying here on this side. Let's do that roll up with that weight. Long arm, harder lever to work. Okay, so I'm coming up and push through. Now go back down again, just give me that roll. Take your time, keep your head up all the time because you don't then have to roll your head off the floor. But keep this arm nice and long if you can. So it's coming up with that long weight and roll and lift. Twenty seconds left, then two more minutes to this round. It. And 
working all the way through that 48 seconds. Pushing out with that leg now. Lovely, good. Feel that it's under control. If you feel you need to keep it in, do. But do get the up and the across, because that's where I'm working, through the waist. 15 seconds left. Three, two, one, and very well done, good. Okay, we are moving on to our last circuit. You've been doing really well. Okay, so grab me those heavier weights. I'm just concentrating on my triceps on this one. I push those weights together. I get the drop, I get the lift. I'm keeping my feet on the floor for now, just to get that lift and up. I can concentrate on that one thing. Shoulder blades always on the floor. Then I'm going to come up and I'm going to do a second lot of tricep work. So your triceps are really going to get a good workout on this. So pace yourself, push those weights together and drop to your forehead and coming up. Good. Now really feel that you get that lock off each time. Remember you'll have plenty of practice because you'll be doing two sets of this one exercise. And again, the secret, as with every tricep, is getting those elbows straight at the end, not letting your shoulders help. Your shoulders are still stuck onto the floor there. Good, rib cage down and in, core pulled in. Really get that arm perfected. I'm not moving from my shoulder to my elbow, it doesn't move. Three, two, one, and good work. You can rest them on the floor, whichever way you like, before we do that second set. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Dropping it to your forehead. Get me that lift. Lovely, good. All the way up. That's it. And get it straight. on the floor, think about your sip and hollow being on and your rib cage being down and in. So the only thing that can get my arms up there is the top backs of my arms, my triceps. Really work those triceps. That's it, good. We're going to get a really good workout on this circuit here. Triceps all the way. Three, two, one. Good work. Coming up. Remember the goblet, hold, I'm here. Okay, so I have gone lighter, but I want to be able to do basically two sets of this, and it's all the way up. And as you get to the top, remember that weight is still facing down towards you. Don't get into the habit of using your wrists at the end. Work it good. All the way up to the top. I'm not leaning back. I've got my core pulled in. I've got 20 seconds to go. I can really feel it now on my triceps. Last few seconds. Three, two, one. Well done. Give my little shake through. I'm going to go there again. Okay. I've got my hands around the top part of that. I put it over my head. And we are on with that lift. Those triceps, really feeling that. And up. Good. All the way. So a lighter weight. I pick up that three to do it with. But it is for a two minute circuit and it has come on the end of some other tricep work. Okay, we're coming down into single figures now. Here we go, nine. Work it through to the end. Make each one a good one where you really lock your elbows each time. Lock those elbows. Three, two, one, and well done. 
Well done. Lovely. Good. My next one, I'm just going to work them both at once. I drop down into here and then I straighten them off. So it's like a sphinx style, almost like that there. And come up. Drop your weight down. And come up. Now you can move your knees further back if you want to. But really it's about perfecting that straightening off and that dropping that weight through as your arms bend. So again, it's almost like when I say a box press up, do get to the end of the movement and then up. Three, two, one, and well done. Are we ready for our last five minutes of work? All on our triceps. So it's not easy, but try and stay with it if you can. Okay, shoulder blades back and down. Onto the floor, or on, sorry, onto my forehead, and then up. Shoulder blades always staying on the floor. Good, so I'm just stopping that little movement there and then all the way up. I'm staying with those heavier weights with that pair if you can. A little bit of peg work going on as well as I push those weights together. And then get with that lift. Good work. Up all the way. That's it. Lovely. Good. Get it nice and straight each time. Last few seconds. Three, two, one. I'm resting them. Definitely feel I need that rest because I know what's coming. Okay, let's work through right to the end on this one. Here we go. Get me that drop. Get me that lift. It's all about the arms, all about the triceps on this last one. But think how good those top backs of arms are going to look. Lovely, good. Keep it in control all the time. Drop and lift. Last little bit now. Keep it strong. Three, two, one. And good work. Well done. I'm coming on to that lighter weight because I know I've got two more minutes of work to do on it. Okay, round the back there, here we go, get me that lift. My triceps do begin to ache on this, but again, you can just take it at your own pace. But what's important is that you do get that lock each time. Coming up, 25 seconds left. We're now down under 20. Good, keep it strong. Up. Last few seconds, we're in single figures. Core pulled in, my rib cage down and in. Try to keep the core strong. Three, two, one. Well done. Give a little shake off. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. My last 48 seconds on this tricep lift.
One. Oh, very well done. Hope you're feeling proud of yourself. I'm feeling proud of you if you've done that all the way through. Okay, so my knees are back. My triceps are certainly feeling this. Got to get that drop down and come up. That's it, lovely, good. So control it the whole time. Then really feel you get that lock and push up. So there is weight on my knees this time as well. It's just not on my triceps. If you want a little bit of extra work, bring those knees slightly further back. Still getting those elbows to the floor. And then getting them to straighten off. So we've really got that bend and then that lift up. Just a little bit of that weight being taken by my knees as well. But otherwise, there's a lot of weight over my front half. And the further back you put those knees, the harder it is. Here's your last few seconds of your last bit of your last circuit. Three, two, one, and good work, well done. You're coming off that timer. Good work. And I'm gonna stop that music. And we're gonna do a tricep stretch out first, but also my front of hip. I'm dropping down, I'm coming up, and that stretch out on your triceps. Really feel that you're dropping through the whole time. Tip and hollow is on, my triceps getting that nice stretch out. Lovely, good. And then when I come back, that's going to be a hamstring stretch. You don't have to sit back on that knee if you don't want to, but if you want to, your knee's fine. Push back on it, and then I'm coming forward to get that hamstring stretch. Lovely, good. Then I'm coming up, both knees underneath me. Then I'm getting that drop down and in, and I'm using it as a tricep stretch as well. And that feels really nice on my tricep to get that stretch out. Just pulling it back over your head all the time, sinking right down into the middle. Lovely, good. Then coming back on that, pushing back, getting that hamstring stretch out. Lovely, well done. Okay, from here I'm going to go underneath me and I'm going to do that glute stretch out, coming down onto my elbows and then if you want to, just letting the hip push out. Lovely, coming back into the middle, coming up. And then over, dropping it out and down, elbows on the floor, and then just slowly drop that hip out. That muscle having to stretch further and further as that hip drops out, but my top half stays even on the floor. Lovely, good. And I'm going to just roll down onto my front here. I'm going to pull myself over onto one side and then just getting that reach out and then that comes back and I reach up with the other arm out over my obliques, you did use them for me on the cycles and also getting up off of the floor, do you remember that one? and getting that lift up, okay so down, down the front of your thigh, good work, well done, coming up and over on the other side Pulling yourself down and over. And then up and sip and tip and come up and reach up and over. Really get that extension, really get that lift to get that front of thigh stretch. Out through my obliques, down through my hip flexor, into my front of thigh. Good work, well done. Coming down, over onto your front, into that downward dog. Get that really lifted. Push your weight back over your heels, head just in between your arms, that's it, good. I'm going to walk it back all the way, bend your knees and slowly unroll, keeping your head and shoulders for the last thing to come up. My sip and hollow has worked all the time for me, doubly good, I'm just going to open up those arms and then they really worked hard for me today. 
supporting me and lifting those weights, remember. 10 minute circuit, feel really pleased with yourself. I feel pleased with you, I feel pleased with me for doing it. Okay, lovely, good, and then just give it a little shake off. Okay, very well done. I hope you enjoyed that. I enjoyed teaching it to you. Leave any comments that you want to, and I will see you again next time. Okay, bye-bye for now.